What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the first beta of macOS Sonoma 14.1, and in this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside of this beta. So this is a first time in Apple history moment because Apple is now finally going to have consistent point numbers for iOS and macOS now. So if we take a look at the update size, it did come in at 1.91 gigabytes on my M1 MacBook Air, and then going into the uh, downloading cycle, it changed to 3.17 gigabytes. If we were to take a look at the build number in settings, general, and then about, we can see our build number here is 23B5046F. So we have an F at the build and the build number, which indicates that Apple took six times to compile this version of macOS Sonoma. And they were happy with it after the sixth time. All right. What is new inside of this latest beta of macOS Sonoma? The first one has to do with our weather app. So if I were to open up the weather app right here, you're gonna see we have a brand new little line right here. So this line is basically just there now. So it wasn't there in macOS 14.0, but it is now here. It's probably just a bug, probably will get removed in the next beta, but it's kind of weird that it's just there, but something to just point out. The next thing is with the music app where we actually got a couple new changes. So the first one is we actually have a star button here. And what this star button is, if it, it replaces the love feature inside of Apple Music. And if you have any love songs, it automatically transfers to the stars, which are actually called favorite. And if we were to go into here, it now says favorite and unfavorite, whereas before this used to say love. Apple's just rebranding it and making it a lot more consistent. The next thing is up here. So if we were to go up here, they changed the glyph icon up here, and they have also added the words only favorited here. So if we were to do this, it will only show our favorites, which I don't have any favorited songs right now. But if I were to favorite a song here, I'm gonna favorite, eh, let's favorite Wireless Dreams. So if I were to favorite this and then show only favorited, Wireless Dreams should be the only ones that show up here. If I were to click on Shuffle, the only song that would play are the favorited songs. So that is a pretty cool feature to give you some more control over what gets played. However, if you take a look at my iOS video, you may know that you actually have some suggested songs now. Those do not appear here inside of Sonoma. But hopefully the next beta they add it, but it would kind of be weird that Apple would not add it because the music app is kind of weird at its current state right now. But at least we got the favorites feature. The next change is inside of the books app. So if we were to go open up the books app here and take a look right here, this used to say reading now and same with up here. It used to say reading now, but now it just says read now and read now. So Apple just wants to make this seem a lot more formal. And it kind of makes sense that the sidebar just says read now. So these are just stuff that you could just read right now or just buy right here and then just read right now. And these are just suggestions here if you use the Apple Books app, of course. Now the next thing has to do if you have a game controller, a specific one. So if you have the Nintendo Switch N64 controller, you can now use that to play your games on macOS Sonoma if you want to play in retro style. So it's only if you have that. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. It's not required or anything. Just letting you know. However, we did not get a bunch of iOS 17 features that we got in 17.1. For example, AirDrop by going away. I tested that. That did not work. So I basically just went and then I just ran out of my house. I did get the file because I went closer to my Mac but did not actually cancel the airdrop. So when I went far away enough from my Mac, it did not continue doing the airdrop. So yeah, doing airdrop does not work. We also still do not have the new ringtone to text tones. For example, if I were to go into the clock app, we still do not have those in here. So maybe the next beta will get those back or get those in general since macOS has never gotten them. Just kind of weird that Apple removed them from iOS, and we still don't have them. They've also been removed from the files of macOS. So they were actually in the files of macOS Sonoma RC, but if we were to go where they are, which is in Macintosh HG system, library, private frameworks, and then if we were to go into the tone library, then versions, then A, then resources, and then go to the ringtones folder right here. You're gonna see they are no longer here. They've actually were in here in the Sonoma RC and final release, but they've disappeared now. So maybe we'll get those back in here and actually in macOS Sonoma. But yeah, we don't have any new Safari changes here. So it's kind of strange that we did not get the new Safari change to the thing I suggested to add profiles when clicking here. 
but we still need to manage them right here. So just letting you know if you want to manage profiles, you still need to do them in Safari, manage profiles, you can't do them here yet. Now what can we expect next from Apple? So if I were to open up the calendar app right here, today was the 27th. So I think we're gonna get the next beta of macOS Sonoma here on the 3rd. We might get the ringtones, we might get something additional, we might get a couple of bug fixes if there are any bugs, but as far as I know there aren't any bugs. But yeah, here on the 3rd. And now speaking about my experience, it is actually pretty good, I've used it. It actually feels better than the initial version of macOS Sonoma, surprisingly. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you'd like to see iOS, there are a couple more interesting changes right here. You can take a look right here. And then for watchOS, I'll release that tomorrow. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!